Hey, it's Randy Hartz here with Complete Fitness, where we help busy men and women in the Sioux Falls area look better, feel better, and perform better, which makes them really perform better in every area of life. It uh, helps them improve their faith, their family, and, and relationships, and so forth. Obviously, their personal health and fitness improves. And I even believe when you have energy and are looking good and have confidence, it even helps you make better financial decisions. So. I know that's a big um, guarantee, but I'm telling you, when you're looking good and feeling good, everything else in life just tends to go better. Now, stay tuned today. I've got a great video. This is part two in the series of what would I do if I only had 30 minutes a day to exercise? So we understand that you're busy and your time start. We've all got a lot of things going on, but if you can carve 30 minutes out of your day, uh, this part talks about the strength training part and, and what I would do. So the first video, if you watched last week, you can go back and rewatch it. It's out here on Facebook Live. Talked about kind of an overview and, and what I would do. In this video, obviously, we're talking specifically about strength training. So we're actually going to get into the actual program that I would recommend doing. Now, uh, just a caveat here. So this video, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate all of these exercises. So you can go out on YouTube or find a coach or a trainer. Um, to demonstrate these exercises, make sure that you're doing them correctly. I'm telling you that would be an, an invaluable investment for you uh, to make sure that you're doing the exercises not only correctly, but at the correct intensity level, choosing the correct weights and so forth. And you can use dumbbells or resistance bands or whatever it is that you've got at home. Or if you're working out at the gym, um, this will obviously work for you. So why the importance of strength training? So um, your metabolism, basically the calories that are burned by your body, I mean, basically all the calories are going to be burned in the lean muscle tissue and if you don't take care of that it's going to be go bye bye i mean it's it's a use it or lose it type proposition and i'm telling you uh lean muscle tissue is like gold on your body so you know the weight loss centers a lot of time they just have you focus on weight loss if you're not taking care of the lean muscle tissue and supporting and creating an environment where that's going to stay around so your body can burn stored fat to be utilized as, as fuel you'll never uh get to the lean toned look that you're looking for. And, and that's what everybody wants, right? They want to get lean toned, have the muscle tissue, the definition and so forth. And that's what we're going for here. So first of all, we're going to talk about the exercises that we're going to do in this strength training workout. And, and obviously there's a lot on here. I'm going to briefly go through this, but we want to have uh, five different movements that we're going to focus on. So we're going to focus on the squat, on the hinge, which is the hamstring, the, the back of the thigh, uh, the push, the pull, and then a core movement. And a lot of times in the gym, in, instead of a core movement, we'll actually do what's called a, a loaded carry, which is basically just picking up heavy weights and walking for a distance, which is an unbelievable exercise that you've probably never done. And, and I'm telling you, that's something you can look up, just a loaded carry, um, doing suitcase carries, whatever it is that you wanna call them, on YouTube as well, and, and you can find how to do some of those. So let's start out with the squat. This is a compound movement, so we're gonna be working um, both the quads, you know, the glutes, the hips, everything, you know, the, this starts out from more of a beginner on upwards to an advanced movement. Wall sit is, is more of the beginner movement, uh, followed by a body weight squat, followed by a dumbbell squat, or what we could call a, a, a goblet squat, where you're holding a dumbbell in the front. You know, back squat, uh, things like that are even more progressive, and, and it's just all based on skill level. And, and the knowledge that you've got. Then the hinge, again, working the, what we call the posterior chain or, chain or the hamstrings and glutes and so forth, we start out with a hip thrust and you can add weight to that as you progress. This is a single leg kneeling hinge, which is, is uh, an easy way to learn the hinge. And again, look that up on YouTube and, and they'll, you, know, you can follow directions or find a coach or trainer to coach you how to do that. And then finally, we go with a dub, dumbbell or a barbell deadlift type motion. Um, the hinge is also like a swing, uh, kettlebell uh, deadlift also, so there's different variations as you progress in your skill levels. Then we come down to the push. We've got a push up for the basics. They can be push ups on the knees, uh, push ups up on your toes. Then we go up into a dumbbell, like a, a bench press or a floor press, followed by an overhead press, which is just simply dumbbells or a barbell pressing overhead. Then we go into the pulling motion. motion. So we're just pulling and, and doing a back movement, band row, dumbbell row, and then lat pull downs. Again, depending on the equipment that you've got and your skill level. And then finally, uh, for our core movements, we start out with a plank um, that's gonna you know do the do the core movement. 
uh, any variation of a sit-up or a leg raise. So all we're gonna do when we get into the exercise part is we're gonna just pick one exercise for each of these areas to do, and then that's how we're gonna put together our workout, okay? So again, if I've only got 30 minutes, here's what I'm gonna focus on doing. Now, the first thing I'm always gonna do uh, when I start the, the workout is I'm always gonna do a, a, a warm up. And a warm up can simply be something as simple as, you know, picking four exercises. It might be doing a body weight squat, a hinge, a push up, and maybe a jumping jack. And maybe doing 15, you know, 12 to 15 reps of each, two to three rounds of that. And that's a good warm up to get blood flowing and so forth before you go and add weight and get into your workout. Now, we wanna do the strength training. It doesn't have to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It could be Monday, Thursday, Saturday, however, but every other day, that's the biggest thing, is take a day off in between. And we're focused on doing full body movements here because the majority of the audience here, I'm, I'm just assuming that, that you're a beginner, maybe into intermediate, um, and so you're just looking for some direction here. If you're more advanced, um, you already know what to do, okay? It's as simple as that. So when you're just getting started, you know, it might be strength training on Monday, take Tuesday off and, and do the cardio workout that I show you in the next video. Wednesday, um, take Thursday off, Friday, take Saturday off, and again, you're doing cardio on the end of, in, in between days. So we're gonna warm up, and then here's what we're gonna do, and, and I'm gonna teach you a, a concept called progression. And it just simply means we're gonna start out using lighter weights, higher reps, and then over the course of the month, we're gonna progress, progressively increase the weight and reduce the reps, which is gonna help you to build strength um, and, and so forth. So week one, um, here's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna do two sets of 15 repetitions. So you remember we have our exercises. So we've got our squat, our hinge, our push, our pull, and our core movement. Each of those movements, you're gonna just pick one exercise from each and you're gonna do two sets of 15 repetitions. So you wanna pick a weight where when you get to 15 reps, you're at failure, okay? And probably the easiest for the for week one is to do your squat mo motion first, do your 15 set of 15, and then move on, maybe rest 20 to 30 seconds, move on to your hinging motion, um, do your set of 15 there, move on to the push, the pull, the core, and then come back and do the squat motion again and, and go through those exercises in succession. And then we're gonna finish up with um, a, a high intensity interval training type, type of uh, cardio, which again, I'm gonna teach you in the next one. Now, that first week, these workouts are not gonna take very long. They're actually gonna be done in less than 30 minutes because we're not doing very many sets. Week two, we're gonna bump up and we're gonna go three sets of 12 reps, okay? So that means we've gotta increase the weight. So let's say for the squats we did uh, 15 pound dumbbells for two sets of 15. Here we might bump up to 20 or maybe 25 pound dumbbells for the three sets of 12. And again, it's just progressively increasing the weight. The first week our main focus is on learning the exercise, uh, getting our body to adapt and, and to be accustomed to the exercise and make sure that we're not gonna get injured. It's very unlikely you're gonna get injured with a weight light enough that you're doing a set of 15, okay? Week three, we're gonna to continue to progress. Now we're getting up where we're going four sets, eight to 10 reps. And then week four, we're going four sets of six to eight reps. So again, um, throughout the, the weeks here, our weight is increasing. So you know, again, if we're using 15 pound dumbbells, then maybe it's 20, then maybe 25, then maybe 30 pound dumbbells down here, we wanna progressively get stronger throughout the month, um, which is gonna break down lean muscle tissue, cause that muscle tissue to, to come back and, and come back stronger, ideally putting more muscle on your body, which is gonna increase your metabolism, your body's burning more calories, and hopefully more of those calories are fat calories, giving you the lean toned look that you're all looking for, okay? So again, all of this is based on progression. And then what do we do on week five? We basically come back to week one here and we start the whole thing over. Ideally, you pick new exercises at that point, just so you don't get bored with the exercise. I guess that's the big thing more than anything. Um, by the end here, when you know we've done the same thing week in and week out, uh, it just kind of gets stale. So go out on YouTube, find some new exercises, 
But again, follow that progression, squat or the movement, squat, hinge, push, pull, core, and, and go throughout. So that's the workout in a nutshell, okay? So week one, week two, week three, week four, at the end of every workout, we're gonna do the high intensity interval training, which is what I'm gonna teach you on the next video. But again, this is the workout part. We always wanna warm up. Um, and, and two, if you're just hopping off the couch, boy, consult with your doctor before beginning any type of workout program. Make sure your heart uh, is in shape for it. And uh, you know, if you've gotta start out with these two sets of 15, and if it's all body weight for the first three or four weeks, that's completely fine. You're gonna get stronger and progress as you go, but the key is you gotta get started, right? So again, if I only had 30 minutes a day to exercise, this would be the strength training portion of that. And women, I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna get big and bulky. You don't have the hormones to be able to do that. Um, if that would by chance happen, if you got a little bigger than you like, man, just reduce the weight, take a week or two off, and I'm telling you, the, the lean muscle tissue will come back into where, but it's not gonna happen, so don't worry about that. So again, hopefully this video added value to you. If you've got questions, post them below. Um, I can sure post a, a simple workout plan in there. But again, go back and rewatch this because you need to learn this stuff. Hopefully this makes sense to you. This will help you put together a simple workout that you can do at home or in the gym. If you need some coaching, we're definitely here for you. Um, you can go out on our website or you know, click learn more on our Facebook page and we'd love to help you out. Have a great week. God bless you. And we'll see you next week when I talk about high intensity interval training. We'll see you then.